All right, Lewis Porcelain Man Over Market, and uh, this is the e mini call on uh, January 15th. Sorry, my first video, my mic was turned off, I didn't know it. All right, very busy night. Here we go 2027, quarter high, 1986 low. We're still inside this range. Economic news came out with the unemployment being better than expected, and um, we also had uh, uh, economic data that was out. So, um, the initial rally yesterday, so after the close yesterday, we rallied up to 2027. That one back made a low of 1986. I'll show it to you what it looks like on the profile real quick. All right. So, um, here's the profile overnight. Here's the high. So, we took out yesterday's high, that 219. Okay. And then we went down here. So, this low has single prints. This low has single prints. And um, I'm ultimately bullish, but I still think the market could go down and test the lower part of this range. Because as you see these gray areas, it's filling in in here. And it's, it's what it's doing, it's consolidating. It's consolidating. And we need to understand it sometimes. And, and if we see this range contracting, so the reason I draw these trend lines for people who are not used to this is what happens is the market contracts and then it it'll break out one way or the other. When it breaks out, this is like building, as we call volume or pressure, like keeping your hand on a well or something. All right, so that's what that looks like. Let me get, I'm rushing through this because I kind of screwed up over there. Um, all right, so the market um, last night after the close rallied up and uh, made a high at 2027. Then we, we broke down, came back through value, went down, make that low of 1986. So um, we've been up and through value, okay? So now here's the five-minute pivot. Five-minute pivot is in a buy, and it's sitting right here at 1997. We got a lot of stuff at 1997. The five-minute pivot, the mode from yesterday, and the bull bear zone, and the bull bear zone. So the key will be here. Can we get back inside of value? If we get back inside of value, we have enough. Once we get back inside of value, will we travel through value again, take out the pivot, and go keep going? Now, every other pivot, the 30-minute pivot, the 30-minute pivot, and the 15-minute pivot's at 2029. The 30-minute pivot is at uh, 2034, and way up there is 2086 is the hourly pivot. So, the five is the only one in a buy, okay? The five is the only one to buy. I still have a, um, today, up at these levels, I have a, a, a negative bias, um, and um, but I think we're going to have a two-sided trade once again. When you're, This is what happens when we have range, contraction, and um, the market is trying to fight to make up its mind, okay? So here's that daily profile that I show you. Sort of looking like, you know, this is starting to look like it's, you know, came up, we're coming back down. We're starting to build a lot of volume in this area. There was volume built in this area before. Possibly it could go down and test this area again. But you know what? Let's just trade with you know what the market gives us. And it will give us during the day, it will give us signals going up and down. I don't want to trade with opinions until it violates my pivot areas. I don't go against the pivot areas. All right. Uh, sorry about the video. I'll get it out as soon as possible. But um, I didn't have the volume turned on. All right, Lewis Porcelain, Man Over Market, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.